Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 3 of the World Cup jersey review. This time we talk about group C, a group that has some of the most heralded shirts in there but then there are also a few in there where I'm not so sure about. It's also a group that at the moment that I'm shooting, it's not quite clear if Argentina will go deep into this tournament. So yeah, we'll see, but we're not talking about that. We're talking strictly about the jersey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, look at all the jerseys that have been issued for this World Cup for these four teams in this group, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Poland in that order. This is the seeding order and you'll get a grade from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best grade. And you know, you have a few uh, here in the background already, the teams here and then some other to make give it a little bit of a World Cup feel <laughs> back there. And there is one World Cup jersey up there. I got the Argentina away jersey. Let's move right in. And as I said, we'll start with Argentina. And the home shirt is everything you would expect from an Argentina home home, home shirt. It uh, reminds me a little bit of the 2014 one, although I think that one was a little bit better, you know, having just uh, white sleeves. Uh, but I, that, there's nothing really wrong. It's an Argentina shirt. It's an Argentina shirt. Can be and has the nice effect that on the back the center stripe is actually an Argentinian flag, which I'm glad they only did it on the back uh, because if this was on the front, I think it would really look weird. Um, but you know, it's a nice touch. It's something different uh, to distinguish it from others. The one thing that actually bugs me with this one is the way that the color is done because uh, it is kind of this four shirt color where, um, you know, it's very thick on the back and then very thin on the front. It's like the NHL jerseys that Adidas have released um, for like four, four or five years now. So uh, that, is a, that is a little bit of a negative and makes this jersey go from, yeah, it's all right, but it's not more than your average Argentina shirt, to be honest. Uh, yes. If Messi should lift the trophy in this one, this will be completely differently rambled. But at this very moment, it doesn't actually look quite like that. I'm going to give this just an average six star. Uh, gotta say, um, I would have liked to see a little bit more. I mean, nothing wrong, but I would have liked to see a little bit more. And especially take some care with the color. Uh, just, just give it a black outline. It's all that it needs. The away jersey, though, is one that honestly I have come around to it now. At first, I, you know, I love my Argentina away away jerseys. Um, let me pull it out. My, you know what my favorite was? That's the one from the '98 World Cup. This color combination for Argentina for me is just iconic. So I was at first when I heard that they are gonna pull out a uh, purplish uh, away jersey, I was a little bit, um, yeah. Do we really need purple for Ar Argentina? However, then I saw the jersey and yeah, the, Adidas did something interesting here. I, I have to say, it, it really doesn't look good. It like, actually looks darn fine. And um, I also like that the crest here is all silver, which of course Argentina is the land of silver without there being ever any silver being uh, found or something like that. So uh, <laughs> this is one of those weird things in history. So that also makes a whole lot of sense. But this overall purple look, is not a bad one. Now, the pattern, it looks like flames coming up. However, it's exactly uh, almost the opposite. Focus on the dark patterns. This is basically the Sol de Mayo, which you find on the backside of the shirt and also in the Argentinian flag that is radiating out. And then they kind of twisted it, it around to give it kind of this flame look. In a way, I would have loved it if they would have simplified this, not make it more com com complicated. If you put a few layers together here, um, I think you could have made the pattern a little bit more clear. Uh, but overall, it's a jersey that um, was maybe not the highest on, on my list, but still was the first one uh, that I bought for this World Cup because you guys said, get this one. And I gotta say, yeah, it's a really nice shirt uh, that I'm gonna give a nine star. It's really, really, it has grown on me quite some. Going over to Saudi Arabia, um, you see the 2006 shirt, there's a palm tree and a sword in there. Now they have the Falcon uh, crest logo, which I actually think it looks good. It's just that uh, the head of the Falcon has a palm tree, so it looks like it is, has a, a, a very particular haircut in, in a way. And of course, there needs to be a soccer ball in there. But I have, have to say, over the Federation crest, while I have... Uh, Odd is not that bad, but what Saudi Arabia has been doing now again is that they have put the palm tree, uh, the, uh, the palm leaves all over the shirt. 
And I have to say, it looks actually quite nice. The previous it 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 iteration was similar, um, but I actually like this one better. There is some sort of class, uh, there is a playfulness and a class in, 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 in there, one that you would not necessarily associate with Saudi Arabia, but I think it's a very, very nice Saudi Arabia shirt. I'm also gonna go high with the, the, this one. This is one of my more favorite ones, and look at the color, how nicely it's done. It's a nine. However, the away jersey, uh, the now famous away jersey, I don't know what they have been thinking here. Uh, my first thought was, is this a Nike template in a, in, a, in, a, in a way? Because it doesn't do anything. Yes, I do like a green Saudi jersey, but if you would have taken the home jersey and made it green, I think this would have been much, much better than what this thing here. It didn't, doesn't look bad in play, but uh, to, to me it's a little bit, it looks like a bamboo forest. That's what it reminds me of, and as far as I know, bamboos do not grow in Saudi Arabia. Five stars. Nike, you can definitely do better here. And then we go over to Mexico, another green, green team, and you see that the red will be very, uh, rather short in this one. And again, I know what they want to do here. This is uh, the, the feathery... Um, a costume of uh, Quetzalcoatl, uh, one of the Aztec gods, and for that it actually looks uh, quite cool. The one thing is, I think what bugs me are the is the red up up top. This should be a little. There should be red and white. It's not just only red. The New Mexico crest, all right, okay. I actually like the old one a little bit better, but again, I know modern marketing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's not bad, but I think it could be better, especially the bird could look uh, a little bit more re realistic. Reminds, reminds me of what Austria did uh, to their craze. So uh, that's maybe one uh, little thing. The pattern, I think, is cool. Uh, the one thing, in a way, it, as I said, the coloring doesn't sit quite right with me. <sighs> And also it could be a little bit more feathery and less geometric. But I think I still like the idea that they went uh, for something very cult cultural. So I'm going to give this an 8. And I got to say the Mexico away jersey. When I saw it, this was instantly one of my favorite jerseys. However, I do agree with others that say that the colors are off. Yes, the dark red is a little bit off. And you know, the way it is done, it hides completely the crest and the Adidas logo even. It's also a hard jersey to get as far as I know because they're also only produced in Mexico and they don't really have the resources to produce more. Uh, it sucks a little bit because I, I honestly would love to have this shirt. Yes, the idea is do something like it in 98, make something special and go all out. I actually like the in on the inside of the color, that logo, uh, I think it's also Quetzalcoatl, um, uh, Mex an Aztec god. That, takes it to another level um again if this was white and nah, i don't know but i i i think the color com 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 combination is a, is a teeny bit off still uh it's an absolute outstanding jersey um that i would give nine stars uh, and i don't even feel bad about them this is was one when i saw this one i thought i thought immediately yeah that's the one i need to have and that's the one i probably will not get oh uh, who knows who knows we go to poland and as much as i love the previous uh, poland home churches and i regret not have having it i do not like this one and i have a polish co-worker who said that she doesn't like that one either it is so templatey with some weird shoulders that remind me a bit of the Saudi Arabia kit and then they come up this is the nest or the feathers of an eagle now this is nothing like that it's just a boring template shirt you can do way better for Poland I have to say this is a, again it doesn't do much wrong but I would expect more uh, it doesn't do it for me I really love the crest and the way it's on there but uh, there should be more there this to me is just a four star and the Poland away jersey, while well, simple, that is everything I want to have from a Poland jersey. I uh, maybe you could have instead of making that just a thin red outline, make the sleeve cuffs all in red, and then you have kind of a Polish flag uh, at least uh, there. But I have, I have have said this one I totally enjoy. Nothing special, but it's very strong in its pure look, and that's always a good thing to have. 
So I'm gonna go seven with this one. And we're through the jerseys from this group. Which jerseys in this group did you like? Uh, where do you agree and disagree with me? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!